What's up? Big Yumbo here. In the last seven days, we've done $3,400 in sales. Let's see what's sold. I sold 162 items in the last seven days, so I can't show you all that, but I can show you some of them. Sold some Victos Contractor AF Tactical Cargo Pants. I picked these up in Las Vegas. I'm thinking like four months ago when I was visiting my girlfriend and these finally sold. Somebody sent an offer for 50 bucks uh, plus 830 shipping. Totally happy with that. When I looked them up, the sell through rate was really good, but they just been sitting for a while. I think the size is kind of too big. Sold a Nike, just, just a va basic Nike full zip hoodie. Um, got $15 plus 599 shipping. The trick to Nike is to always look up the little style code on the tag. Um, oh, I got a little picture of it here prepared um, so if you flip under the tag on the inside not the tag on the back of the neck like it's gonna be on the lower uh, left side of the torso um, not that number and not the size it's gonna be the third line of numbers is gonna be what you're looking for if you just type that into Google Images for Nike stuff it 99% of the time will come up with what you want or something really similar Sorry, I just want to throw in here as well for Nike, um, two items that sell really well. It's really a very similar item. There's the Tech Fleece sweatpants. They sell super duper well. They're just like a jogger, kind of a thick um, sweatpant with elastic waist drawstring with the fleece interior. Those sell really well. Even a men's small will sell super well. And they're just super basic looking. And then also the club fleece sweatpants. And you can identify these by the fact that these both these styles are joggers and have the elastic waist. They're tapered fit. And also you can look at that tag that I just mentioned. The club fleece and the tech fleece sweatpants. Very good. Sold a couple of these actually today. I sold this one for $15.90 and another for $15.90. Uh, plus $5.99 shipping. Um, they're just Boy Scouts uniform shirts. These ones in particular are actually priced a little too cheap. They have the flap on the back. It's like vented for uh, fishing, hiking, and they're made out of polyester as opposed to the cotton ones. Um, for those ones, you can usually get a little more when I was listing them, or I just forgot to price them up a little bit higher. Not too much higher, like $3 higher, like maybe price them at like $22.88 or something. Or maybe you could price it at $25.88 and wait a year, but I like to sell things super fast. Today I sold two Tommy Bahama shorts to the same person for 28 plus 11.98 shipping. Good deal. And I believe they're both Ben's finds. Oh, you saw this in the last video, that vintage uh, Berkeley crew neck sweatshirt. I listed it as 70s, because I looked at a bunch of pictures online of 70s ones, and it had very similar stitching in the armpit to 70, 70s champion hoodies, but it did not say champion, so I didn't put that in there. Um, but it sold for 28 plus 750 shipping and it's only been like less than a week i've been selling a ton of these just basic nike uh, nike pro leggings men's and women's if you just price them at 15 bucks plus shipping and take any offer between 10 and 15 um, they should move pretty quick especially if you look at the tag and you find the exact style but you don't have to with these they'll sell really fast in that little price bucket for men's and women's for men's, you can even get up to 20 depending on if there's like a pattern on them or if they have like vents on the side. Uh, Royal Robins hiking skirt. These sell really well for like all the outdoor brands. Um, I think a lot of resellers pass on them in the bins, but they do really well. For Somebody paid 20 bucks for this and I paid a dollar for it. They paid 20 total, like including the shipping. Dovetail Workwear. This brand is new to me. I was down doing jury duty in uh, Sacramento we let them free, by the way. Um, not guilty. But the Goodwill down there is super overpriced. These were actually 18 bucks. I was hoping maybe get 80 bucks for them. But uh, I think someone took a coupon or maybe made an offer and they sold for 59 plus 750 shipping. And it's only been like three weeks. So pretty good. These are kind of like a workwear style. They're actually in the men's section, but they're women's. As you can see, there's like um, they have the double knee on them. Cool, Coolision Field Hooded Work Jacket. Found this in the bins. Uh, sold for 42 plus 830 shipping. And it's been like a week. I mean, if I wanted to hang on to it till winter, maybe I could get like 80 bucks, but I'm good. This company, The Mountain, um, their shirts are pretty like low quality and they're 
ubiquitous. That's something a thrift of life said the other day. That means found everywhere. Um, these are, this is a ubiquitous brand. I usually pick them up when I find them in the bins because you can usually get 10 to $20 depending on the design. This one just had like a, like a psychedelic German shepherd and it flipped for 1350 plus 599. I actually found this one at the flea market for 150 and it's only been like two weeks. Oh, this specific shirt from Ralph Lauren does really well. It's called uh, the big shirt. This is just a basic like little pony button up shirt. It's kind of more of a thick twill material, but it sells really well. You can get like 20 to 25 for it plus shipping. I got 1990 plus 599 shipping. Abercrombie and Fitch actually has a similar shirt called the big shirt, um, which sells for about the same price and it sells really well as well. I think it's a high sell through rate. It says the big shirt or it says big shirt. The Abercrombie one says the big shirt. Sold a bunch of Western shirts uh, two days ago. One of them is High Noon brand. One of them is Rocky Mountain. The same person bought both those for 44 plus shipping. He might have used the coupon on that, probably did. And then someone bought a Panhandle Slim for 15.88 and they probably used the coupon and paid 12 bucks plus shipping for that. Panhandle Slim, a lot of people say it's pretty good, but I can never get above 20 for it. So I just priced it at like 15. Uh, this sold really fast. A pair of Lucky Brand drawstring shorts, but they were camo or not shorts, uh, sweatpants, but they were camo and they had peace on the butt. They're women's for sure. Um, they sold within the same day that I listed them for $19 plus $5.99 shipping. I think I had them listed at like $24 or $88. Yeah, and they're just basic and they're like cut off at the ankle. They're in pretty bad condition. Here's sort of a bolo. Uh, it's Chico Zenergy. Pretty much everything I pick up for from Chico Zenergy sells super fast right now, especially if you find their joggers, like cargo joggers. Those have 100% sell through rate in a bunch of the different sizes. But at the bins, if I find anything Zenergy Chico's, I list it at like 15 bucks and it flips instantly. Uh, this was just, and also put golf in the title. It's like an active wear line of Chico's. Trying to be more specific of uh, what sport it looks like will help you sell it faster. And this kind of looked like a golf jacket and felt like that. So sold super fast for 12 bucks plus shipping. I mean, that's. You probably wouldn't be excited about that, but I'm super excited about it because I sell, I find so much uh, Zenergy. So now I can pick it up every time and flip it. And also this was a size two. Chico sizes are like zero, one, two, three, I think. Just in the title, put Chico size two. And the ladies will know what that means. It's not actually a size two, it's a Chico size two. So put Chico size two. Um, this sold immediately. Uh, I said in the last video that like motocross stuff is really good and this Fox motocross jersey tank top sold for 20 bucks plus 5.99 shipping. Obviously I got this at the bins. Um, it's just like a perforated kind of like basketball shirt. And yeah, it's just the exact style of clothing that you want to find. It's like tacky Y2K. This style of women's pants. Um, I guess maybe this is Y2K looking, I don't know. These are Lorraine Ralph Lauren, which is like the worst line. I think maybe Chaps Ralph Lauren is worse, but these flipped really fast for 15 bucks plus 750 shipping. Yeah, if I find pants in name brands at the bins in this style, these are actually capris. But they had like the little, capris aren't that great usually, but they had the little like uh, dangly tassels by the ankles, which I think was a little more stylish. Buckle BKE Stella jean shorts. It's very similar to Miss Me, where the jeans suck now for women's, but the jean shorts are like super high sell through rate. For Buckle BKE Stella shorts, at least in this size, size 29, it was 100% sell through rate, and these flipped immediately for 18 bucks plus $6 shipping. For BKE, the men's stuff is usually much better. Uh, for Harley Davidson, their t shirts, you probably know, they're cool, you pick them up, but they never sell. It's because the sell through rate kind of sucks on them. Even for the vintage ones, the sell through rate sucks. But you still pick them up just because they're cool. But the Harley Davidson button up shirts, it doesn't matter if it's super plain, they have a super high sell through rate. This one flipped for $21 plus $5.99 shipping within a, maybe a month. But it's just super plain and boring. And you, it's really tough to get $21 for a Harley shirt. So if you see Harley button ups or outerwear, Stuff like that, it's usually worth grabbing. Their jeans actually suck though. Last time I checked. Sold three Duluth Trading Co. Just basic t-shirts to the same guy for 30 bucks plus 9.30 shipping. It's still a really good bread and butter brand. Oh, 
Anytime you see flame resistant stuff, it'll probably say FR and have some like weird number patch on the sleeve. Uh, pick it up or not pick it up, look it up and then pick it up. This company I'd never seen before. I saw it at the flea market for $1.50. I found this little old Mexican lady and she gave me a ton of stuff for $1.50 a piece. A lot of it had stains on it and smelled funny, but it was definitely worth it. I got like almost 50 things from her. But yeah, this sold really fast. Also another good keyword if it has like reflective on it is high visibility or high vis. Um, or if it's orange, yeah. Flame resistant, good. These spirit jerseys, it doesn't really matter the brand, I guess. I got $21.50 for this one. Um, this was a total gamble. I didn't see any comps on it when I grabbed it. Paid five bucks for it too at the thrift. Uh, it's the Pacific Whale Foundation, but it had a cool print on it. I mean, it had a lot going for it, but those Disney ones are super popular right now that say Disneyland on the back. So I just figured I'd give this a shot. Those Disney ones sell for like 50 bucks. Here's a good Abercrombie flip. This was a uh, 20 bucks plus 750 shipping I got for it. It was just like a corduroy button up shirt. Yeah, I just love selling Abercrombie. I'm just gonna keep saying it. I think I paid like 750 or seven. It was, it was the Goodwill, so probably 799. Still worth it. This was in the last video. Uh, it's a Life is Good t-shirt. And I just kind of wanted to include it to prove to you how fast they sell. If you just do, do a good little listing, they'll flip pretty quick and do a good little price, $11 plus shipping. Um, yeah, it just has a little picture of a guitar on it. There you go. Pendleton is still one of the best brands ever. I don't really, only for their men's button up shirts though. Maybe there's other good stuff, but there, this was a pearl snap. So I could have probably got like 65 for this. Maybe they use the coupon and I got $50 plus 750 shipping. Um, and it flipped pretty much immediately. Anytime I find these, I'll pay up to 20 bucks for them because they flip so fast. If you just price them at like 60 bucks. There are some exceptions, like if it has a ton of holes. I have one in my store that has a ton of holes. If it has holes, don't put holes really big in the title. That's what I always do because I like to be super transparent, but you don't have to do that. They just skip over it. I'm actually gonna take the word holes out because you can show, what I usually do if it has holes, I'll do the first picture like this and then the second picture immediately start showing holes so that they can't say they didn't see the holes. but. They'll probably still not see the holes. But anyways, I'm just talking now. Don't put holes in the title, or do. Um, because I've sold ones with tons of holes for like 40 bucks that I didn't put holes in the title. I just showed them. But then I have one in my store that's like 20 bucks where I put holes really big in the title and still nobody wants it. But yeah, the Pearl Snap ones do really well. If it's plaid, that's excellent. Men's is great. Um, here, I'm just talking about the Pendleton virgin wool flannel shirts, not the cotton ones. There's cotton ones too, and those don't sell nearly as well as the wool ones. Pendleton's known for their wool, so you wanna sell their wool shirts. Their cotton shirts do sell, like you can sell them for like, I don't know, 15 to 25 bucks, but you're looking for the wool. Oh, here's a new brand for me. This was in the pajama section of a thrift. I find this stuff all the time here because there's like a super big Indian population around here in California. So I find like lots of Indian clothing and I always like look it up and it's never good. And I always feel like eventually I'll find something good. But this one flipped super quick. I paid five bucks for these. They sold for $18.66. The company is called Sudara Punjamis. Yeah, and they're just like thin cotton drawstring pants. So, you know, eventually I finally found one that was worth picking up and yeah. I also made a little money on the shipping there because they were super lightweight. They probably shipped for like 450. Here's an amazing brand, Flint and Tender. I know I've talked about it before, but it's just so good. And I'm finding it more and more. This flannel I picked up, I probably picked it up like a month ago for, I wanna say like 550 at the Snowline Hospice. Yeah, or either 550 or 590. And it flipped for 34 plus $6 shipping. Here is what the label looks like. It's just super kind of basic stuff, but it's really high sell through rate and it flips super fast for good money. So I'll pick it up or we'll just look into it. Or... I think that's about all I'm gonna show you actually. So, uh, good night.